Hey tribe, and welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, and this is my channel, the home of the Granny Square and all that crochet goodness. Whew. I've got so much good stuff to show you today. But first, I just want to say, I hope you're all well. I hope wherever you are, that you are safe, that you have food, that you are still relatively sane. Um, because of course the pink elephant in the room well there's two today in the room the big one being COVID-19 I hope that wherever you are that your lockdown or whatever situation circumstances you're facing are that you're okay with them that you're managing um, the UK where I am in the middle of the UK I'm up north from London where most of you uh, sort of picture everyone in the UK living. Um, we are in week four or five now of the lockdown. I think it might be week four, going into week five. I personally am well into week six. Um, yeah. So you have spotted that I am now wearing the Granny Square jumper. <laughs> I finally did it. I've designed it. I've graded it and then I've made this. So this is in the sample size small, which is um, chest size 32. Hang on. I don't want to tell you the wrong one. Yep, 32 inch, which in centimeters is 83 and a half centimeters. Um, I, oh, oh, I'm so, so, <laughs> Please with this. Okay, let's move this. Oh, I'm using it as a prop. I have taken footage anyway, but just to give you a little overview, it is a cropped car cardigan jumper. I'm going to stand up. So my belly button is here. It is cropped. It's got the rib at the bottom. It's got the granny square panels got the sleeves with the rib as well I think that's blaring out and then it's got a cowl neck and then on the back is the granny square panels as well with a little bit of granny stripe to make up the back yoke and I'm in love with it I have got a name but I'm gonna wait to announce the name um, I'm going to announce it to my patreons first and put all of the information on there and the inspiration behind the name and all the details and then I when I get to release this when I come to the release date I will release the name of the pattern so for now it's a tribe star secret I love it so I made the granny squares with stash the majority of which is style craft DK. It is all entirely made out of double knit yarn, which I think is eight ply in America. And um, I used a 4.5 mil hook. Um, the panels, it's all very, very simple to put together. Um, I've got the four granny squares along here, and then it goes down by three. Um, the different sizes have slightly more depending on what size you need and if you didn't want it to be cropped you could just add another set of granny squares at the bottom to get the desired length. I know cropped isn't everybody's jam, it's just my jam. Um, and that's the beauty when you design your own garments, you get to make what you want. Um, for me this has been a real, in some ways a huge challenge and then also just like the, one of the biggest dedications I've ever undertaken even more so than my degree in so many ways um, just because I have always wanted to put my own patterns out there but then there's that gap between wanting and the knowledge you've got and this has really slammed me over to putting the patterns out there um, so I've already contacted my tech editor, this will be with her next week, so next Saturday, all going well, and then after that it'll be out for testing. I've already got three lined up, I've also got an email, one lovely lovely viewer emailed me 
and I thought I'd replied and I never had so if you're still watching this I'm so sorry it's one of those moments where you think I've replied and I looked and I didn't I'm gonna send you a long lovely email in the coming weeks and just say I'm so sorry that I ignored you because that's really rude but hopefully you still really really like what I make and you still really really want to be part of the tribe and you still want to test this and if not I'm so sorry <laughs> um, I'm thinking of setting up a Ravelry group I'm also thinking of maybe setting up a Facebook group for testers I don't know it's all new territory but I'm really excited so I had the design in mind and I made it and then I tried to grade it and I will never do that again from now on when I have a design in mind I will grade it straight away and then make it because I I did learn a lot in making it because I knew how I wanted it to look in my head and then as I went along I'd be like ah that's not working because I need to do x y and z but then it came to grading it I realized I was gonna have to take out some of the shaping and the yoke and yeah 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 the only thing I might change is the the size of the cow because I wanted it big and snuggly but now I feel a little bit like it gapes so I might just reduce that down a little bit but other than that I'm really really pleased with it um I've got a little tickle which makes me think there might be an end loose there is one end that is loose and I found it but I have since been out, so I finished this this morning, and Brad being the amazing support that he is, my hands are really jazz hands today, aren't they? Let's bring it down. Brad being the amazing support that he is, has already been out with me um, into the fields that are at the end of the, well, basically my back garden, um, and we've taken some pictures ready, so I've just posted one on Instagram, so I really hope that you're all, uh, liking it right now if you're not my instagram is at hg designs crochet go over and like it and send put lots of lovely comments on there because i just want to know what you all think about it can you see yourself wearing one what colors would you make yours in um i'm also toying with the idea of making this in different weights so this is in eight ply, double knit. I'm thinking of making it in Aran, chunky, and maybe super chunky, um, because it is quite warm. I mean, today was something like 20 degrees, and we went out at about half five, and I was overheating, but the photos look amazing, so it was worth it, all worth it. Um, I am thinking that making it in different weights would be good, just because this one you can definitely, you'd wear it sort of in the summer's evening um, or maybe you would, I would possibly layer this so I'd put like a denim jacket over it so it's quite a transitional piece but then I think um, an Aran and a, um, that I'd quite like it in a chunky so that in winter it'd be really really nice um, and I'd also think it'd just be nice to pull on over your pyjamas, your jam. I don't know what people call them, your PJs, your gym jams, your jammies. I tend to call mine jammies. So I'd love to pull this over my jammies and then like snuggly socks, fleece jammies, and then one of these. Oh, so ready for the winter. Um, and then maybe one in four ply as well. If I made one in like a cotton four ply, that would be great for summer evenings. I don't know. I don't know if I'll drop down to four ply. And I do have some really nice sock yarn which would be nice to use so maybe I'll just do all the um, weight ranges why not because I know that we all have our favorite go-to and we've probably all got um, scraps of different weights so I've got quite a lot of four ply that I could use but DK is my go-to weight so this is my jumper almost said the name the name is a surprise um, for my Patreons, the Tribe Stars. They will hear the name when I do my weekly post inside HGDC tomorrow. Um, and then when this pattern is ready to be released, I'm so excited. Like, I feel like this is really happening now after years, to be honest, years of trying. Um, when this is ready to be released, it will be free for the Patreons, for the Tribe Stars. Um, and then it will also be available for purchase on Ravelry and I'm so, oh, D 
Do you love it? Do you love it? I just love that I'm wearing granny squares and not only that, it's something like I will happily walk down the street with this. Um, I know sometimes granny squares have that very like, whoa, that's bright. Like as soon as you think granny square and you think of wearing it, you think, oh, that would be bright. Like you think someone would be wrapped in this, which is fine, totally rock it. Only this is more my color palette and I do feel like it's really like on trend right now with the crop and just the styling. It's gonna get so much wear. I already know it, it's gonna get so much wear. Oh. So that is my jumper. I um, I want to make it in different weights, but it's gonna wait until I put my yarn order in. So I am moving on to the next project. I've got another design. I've got like five designs still that are partially completed. And so I'm going to now work through grading them and getting them ready for editing and release. Um, and then in terms of other projects I'm working on, I have this, which is my together blanket. So for every day that I have been isolating, um, I'm adding a square on. I think it's behind by three squares, which I will do tomorrow. I've got the colorway for two um, picked out. I need to pick today's colors. So if I don't quite get a chance to add the colors on, I'm still picking the colors out. So they're in little rows on the floor. And then when I get to it, I can just add them on. It's looking really bright. It is really bright. Um, I added this one on in the garden earlier, as well as that one. And I think part of that one. Um, so it's now on row one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's Sunday. I started this on a Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One, two, three, four, it's four squares behind. So I am on week six, day five of my isolation. No, yes, I have been going for walks, but I have, haven't been on public transport, I haven't been to a shop or anything like that. And so for, as long as that continues, I'm adding a square run. I fell off the ends a little bit. I did fall off the ends a little bit. I was in a really nice little routine of um, every Sunday when I watched my church's live stream to weave in the ends. But this, in the last couple of weeks, has really taken over. So this time last week, I think maybe for like the last three weeks I've been like this is it, it's almost done and I'll hit a snag and I'll undo and I'll rework and same with like last week, last week it was basically done and I pulled it on for the final time and I was like I've got to make that change because if I don't all this work I'm never going to like this design so I undid it all which was fine because I hadn't weaved any ends in but the grannies and I altered the spreadsheet so I knew how it would be graded and that it was going to work and then I set about doing it and to be honest this week like was the week that I was like I don't I don't want to do this anymore like I actually cried one morning when I was working on it because I was like I just don't want to it's not working I'm never gonna do this and I was like you can do it and here we are um so in that time this has fallen behind a little bit so it's got like two whole rows now that need weaving in. So that will be tomorrow's task whilst the live stream is on. And then also on Tuesday um, for Bible study. I, last Tuesday, was going to video chat with a friend. She wasn't very well. Um, and that was the task that I was gonna do. And I just totally swerved on it. So that's my together blanket. You can keep progress with that by checking out the hashtag HDDC HGDC Granny Calm. Um, I know a few people are joining in with that as well and I follow that hashtag and it's so nice to see the granny squares coming through on my feed. And then other projects I'm working on, I'm working on my Aaron, which is gonna now live in this bag because this jumper's finished. This project bag is another reason why I'm so happy this week. It's beautiful and my friend Nicole that I went that I met at um, Edinburgh Yarn Festival a couple of years ago 
she made it and she sent it to me along with this one that's all glittery and I'm loving the metal strip strips zips I'm done with plastic zips metal all the way so this one's this beautiful um, pink blush pink with the gold glitter um, and it's got a front pouch there and then it's also got it's lined with the most I've kept the note that she sent me it's going in my journal it's lined with this floral fabric and it's a notion pouch but I actually think I'm going to keep my EpiPens in it and that can go in my bag um, I always have to carry EpiPens with me and so I always tend to keep them in a pouch sort of this size with then like my inhalers, my antihistamines, um, it's got like an emergency card with emergency details on, although I have a medical ID bracelet. Oh, didn't think I could find it then. It's here, it's just risen down. I've got a medical ID bracelet that has my name, full name, and then it also has my date of birth, and it says EpiPen carrier, but I, I also keep like a little emergency number thing and everything in here along with my EpiPen and then like my lip seal and then using my bank card because like this always has to be with me so I think that's what I'm going to put in there and then she sent me this and I love this and uh, when I got it I was actually working and I just sort of propped it where I could see it as I was working and the fabric is called Wild Flower Child I think it's yeah Wild Flower Child and it's just so me I love the pink and I'm loving all of the wildlife on there and then she's quilted it oh thank you so much Nicole I don't think you watch these but thank you so so much I love it and it's a really good size like I got this whole jumper in there um, and it's got a little divider in it that I can then put um, bits and bobs in so I've got some leftover yarn in here and then it had my um, hook, this, that's got my hooks and stitch markers and measuring tape and all of that in there. Um, and then it can also fit a notebook in there as well. Thank you so much. And I love that she made the drawstrings as well. Love that. So my Aaron's now going to live in there and I'm working on that as well as the next design that I want to release and that's it that's all I'm working on um I made my mind up that I'm not going to be monogamous so to speak but I'm just going to focus on getting like one knitting and one crochet pattern done um and then what I like about this one is it's more mindless so it's something I can work on in the evenings when I don't want to think um yeah Though obviously I haven't really been working on it because all of those ends. But I will catch up with it now. Um, and I love just being able to do a granny square a day. Because they keep me so calm and they're so soothing. Um, and then other little things to tell you. Because this one's already, time's just running away. It's because I'm so chatty today. I love this. Ah. <laughs> um gardening so because we have more time on our hands at the moment um and isn't it surprising like how much more time there is in the day because i'm not having to travel to work i'm not going to church i'm not um i mean there wasn't that many social activities in my life but i'm not going to the shops um and i've really noticed like how resourceful i now am because when I need something, I'm looking around the house thinking, what can I use? Whereas before I'd be like, let me have a look online, I'll pick something up on the way home because I work in the city centre, so I, everything's easily accessible usually. Um, but the things that I'm finding that I'm wanting to put more of my time into at the moment are yoga. The days that I do yoga, I am so much more calm, my body feels amazing um, and it is very easy to be like, I don't have time for that today. I think it's really important to just be like, I have 10 minutes for myself and I'm going to do a yoga session. 
Um, the other thing I'm really enjoying is learning. So I'm spending a lot of time researching on the things that I'm enjoying or that I want to learn more on. Um, and I'm going to do a separate vlog on all of the books that I've been reading. I love a good book when I want to learn. And I'm reading lots of books on gardening, on pattern designing and grading and um, also sewing my own clothes. Like I feel like now is a really good time to start making my clothes and I'm really focusing on the items that I'm more likely to wear now. And I've just, I ordered this book yesterday as my treat for this payday with the view that in the first week of June I'm off work and I'd like to get some fabric ordered so I can make something for myself. I ordered it yesterday and it's here and I haven't even opened it yet but I did a little happy dance when this came through. So I've ordered the Make It Simple by Tilly Wands. I think it's Wands. She's Tilly in the buttons um, and I spent a good, I don't know, a good hour the other day on the fold line um, YouTube channel looking at all of the book reviews they've done on there so thank you so much Foldline they were really informative and it was a toss up between this one and her stretch book and I decided to go with this one because it has a pyjama pattern in here and I I've really identified like the gaps in my wardrobe and things that I would benefit from making um, and this has got a lot of just simple items that I can add in so it's got, oh, I can't wait to go through this, Ooh. it's got that new book smell as well, I love that. It's been ages since I bought a new book for myself. Um, it wasn't available second hand because it's so brand new, so I splurged and bought it first hand and I'm so excited about it. Um, I got it from Amazon, it was about £18, um, with three, 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 three free delivery um, and it's got simple patterns in there pajamas t-shirts um, sort of slouchy cardigans all the things that I'm wearing a lot more of right now um, and I'm, I've always been a pajama person I feel the cold so quickly so easily um, and so in the evening I like to be wearing like a decent pair of warm pajamas um, fluffy socks and then like a cardigan and then a blanket and then usually a hot water bottle as well so I'm really looking forward to making a couple of pairs to add into my wardrobe um, and then I also realised that I could just do with like some like tracksuit bottoms or joggers whatever you call them um, more like loungewear stuff that I can wear when I'm pottering around the garden because I tried to do all the gardening before the sun's high or later in the evening and again, I'm cold. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through that. I'm going to make a list of what I want to make and look for some fabric. So you never know, there might be some sewing vlogs or at least some what I've made vlogs at some point. Um, and then the other thing I'm really enjoying is gardening. Really, really, really enjoying it. Um, today, I dropped some plants off to my uncle's doorstep. I'm really lucky with where I live in that I've got an uncle the next street up. My partner is another street away and then I've got a cousin about three streets further on and then another cousin two streets further on from there and then an uncle behind her. So it's really good in terms of like at Christmas you can just wander over. Um, and so I nipped up there and I got, um, I left some plants for him and it was so like so cool when he was like, oh boo, did you grow these? I was like, yeah. Um, so I left him some pea plants, some sweet pea flower plants, some sunflowers and some rocket and then in a couple of weeks time I will drop off um, some more plants that I've not too long ago planted, sown and then he's also put in a request for some kale and something else. What else did he ask for? Oh yes, I remember. And so I've got to source the seeds for those and then I'll drop them off once I've grown them. Um, and then I've been planning the raised beds for my garden. And I'm so excited about that, but I'm gonna tell you in another vlog because this one is already getting on and I've got a bit of footage to put in. So 
I know I spoke really fast in this one and it might not be as soothing as you're used to um, but I hope that some of my joy is contagious and you feel excited about this pattern as well. Oh, we love it. Also, I'm gonna add that. I know the light's really thinging me out at the moment. Let's try and make it not do that. There we go, nah. But for the photos, I decided not to put foundation on, which is no biggie because I don't wear makeup really day to day. This is the first time I've put makeup on since I last sat down to do a chat with you all. I don't even know if I wore it then because allergies. No allergies today. Um, they're well contained. <laughs> um, but I decided when for the photos to not put foundation on because my freckles have really come out in the sun and I wanted them to show. I don't think. Can you see them? Oh, that's worse. Oh, look. And so, you can see my freckles in the photos, it's so cute. Okay. So, I just feel really lucky right now with everything going on and trying to really focus on the things I'm grateful for. And I keep trying to list everything that I'm feeling grateful for. And I'm feeling so grateful for having money so I can buy food. I'm feeling so grateful for food that although there are so many things unavailable in the shops that there's still more than enough available that I can be fed. I'm really grateful that my parents dropped off loads of seeds for me, flowers and loads of goodness and I just can't wait to plant them. And I'm really grateful for all of the things I'm finding in my house to plant the said seeds into. Empty boxes, egg cartons, loo roll centres, um, anything. I've got some buckets that cost a pound that my mum dropped off for me, six of them, that I've drilled a hole into so that I can plant into them. Um, and I've got raised beds and I feel so grateful for all these things. And so, so happy. Um, and I'm just really reveling in it because there's so much else going on and there's so many tears throughout the week with work and other bits and pieces that it's just nice to have that Saturday feeling and just gratitude. I'm also really grateful for, um, <coughs> bless me, I'm really grateful for allergy medicine. <laughs> um, I'm really grateful for all the podcasts out there that are still creating amazing content as a distraction and also a comfort because they're familiar. So the fold line, um, I'm also, I've been binge watching the Project Diaries on YouTube. He's a UK gardener. Um, and so I'm definitely gonna have to do a hot right now of all of the things that I'm watching, that I'm wanting to make. So yeah, basically just a big thank you to, <laughs> basically just a big Thank you to my parents for my seeds, to Brad, the amazing Brad, for raised vegetable gardens, for hose pipes, for taking photos for me, for just, oh, thank you for being so wonderful. And then thank you to all the key workers out there that are continuing, um, that are working in supermarkets, the delivery drivers. Thank you so, so much for all that you are doing and keeping the world spinning right now for all the doctors, the nurses, just everyone. Thank you for everything you are doing. And then also just thank you to friends, to amazing friends that send me surprises like this, that check in with me to make sure that I'm okay. I just feel really loved right now and that's a really nice feeling. And thank you for all of you lot for being here, for all the tribe stars on Patreon making my dreams come become a reality every day. I can't thank you enough for being there and thank you to all of you for being here and watching this and giving me a reason to do this. Um, I love hearing all your comments that you have took some time out of your day to come and sit and keep me company and that I can keep you company and um, the projects that you're working on and 
it gives me a purpose. I'm, I'm helping you lot, so thank you so much. I'm gonna go. I hope wherever you are that you are safe and you are well and that you get some excitement and positivity and joy from this and I will see you again soon for another vlog. I am going to sit and work out my schedule for the Tribe Star Zoom chat, for the YouTube live chat and then also for what I'm going to be posting this coming month. Um, and so until the next video, take care and I can't wait to show you what I next finish. Bye tribe, be safe, see you soon. Is it an end? I think it might be an end. I'm getting a little. <laughs> um.